Yo, what's good, Ochiami? Welcome to another video. It's been a while. It really has been, dude. I've just been taking a break, and overall, I've just been really busy with stuff outside of YouTube. But no one back. By the way, I just released my new song, Star Girl. So make sure it's just on level 12 effect. Now, if you guys don't know about Jujutsu Infinite, well, let me just give you guys a quick rundown. Jujutsu Infinite released back in 2023 and was one of the first Jujutsu Kaisen games to actually be somewhat decent. Jujutsu Infinite had so much hype with so many players and everyone wanted to play Jujutsu Infinite. And literally two of my most popular videos have to do with Jujutsu Infinite. When it comes to the hype and the fan base for Jujutsu Infinite, Jujutsu Infinite is stacking with a lot of players. And yeah, Jujutsu Infinite came out for Testo, which was in 2023, but then something really bad happened happened to Jujutsu Infinite. Roblox had a TOS, which is known as Terms of Service, which is a rule indicating that you can't really pay for access for a Roblox game outside of the Roblox platform, no. which means if you want to play Jujutsu Infinite, you have to purchase with Robux. But Jujutsu Infinite decided to sell Tester outside of Roblox, which meant people had to pay $30 to get Tester no. for Jujutsu Infinite. And this breaks the rules of Roblox, and Roblox eventually found out what Jujutsu Infinite did. And in the end, Jujutsu Infinite got taken down by Roblox due to this reason. But after talking to Roblox and coming to an agreement, Jujutsu Infinite then got their game back up and everything is fine now. Now when Jujutsu Infinite came out, it got so many players and testers. So many people were playing Jujutsu Infinite, there was a huge player count. And a lot of people purchased tester for Jujutsu Infinite. But now when you look at Jujutsu Infinite, the game barely has any players. <laughs> The game has really good visuals, the game has really good combat. In fact, the combat is actually so good that people couldn't really criticize the combat. The combat is like somewhat perfect, but there were so many issues with the gameplay itself. And one of the biggest issues of Jujutsu Infinite was that it was a bandit beater. But what the hell, what? Now you guys are really familiar with the term bandit beater. Even though Jujutsu Infinite is a bandit beater, it's a unique kind of bandit beater. Now before you guys lash out at me and say, Oh my god, you're trying to defend Jujutsu Infinite bro! Why are you placing Jujutsu Infinite bro? Like if you check the quest mode in Jujutsu Infinite, there are different type of quests. Like for example, one could be to fight five different sorcerers, one could be to destroy a building, one could be to investigate a building, and one could be to capture a point. And there's so many bosses in Jujutsu Infinite too, but in the end, Jujutsu Infinite, after you grind for a really long time, you do run out of content. Now I'm pretty sure Jujutsu Infinite is adding more content into the game, just to make sure we don't run out of content after we grind the game. But overall Jujutsu Infinite is indeed a bandit beater, and after you reach the max level, you don't really have anything else to do in Jujutsu Infinite. Except you do have PvP and you can, you can, you can fight people for ranked if that's what you're into. But when it comes to in-game content itself, it doesn't really have much after you finish the bandit beating quests. Now the thing is, Jujutsu Infinite has mentioned that they are indeed changing the entire bandit beating system in the game, but I feel like they won't really change it much because the game is basically like already done this, but I feel like they might add like a new game mode or something different so that we don't have to just stick to bandit beating and hopefully that is the case. But yeah, when it comes to Jujutsu Infinite, the content overall is pretty decent, but it's not the type of game that you can just continue playing with some purpose. You're eventually going to start playing Jujutsu Infinite after you grind. And obviously when you get into the game, there are different innates you can spin for your innates. Uh, you can get up to 4 different innates, which is kind of pay to win. And also I feel like it's way too much, I feel like you should just stick to a few innates. Because imagine finding someone with Recon, Limitless, Sukuna Vessel, as well as Human Transfiguration, like all 4 special grade techniques. It's a little too much to have in the game. So I feel like they should reduce the amount, because that's just way too much abilities for one person. And then we also have the issue of game fam. Now if you guys don't know what game fam is, I am not gonna explain this even further because I'm pretty sure you guys already know who game fam is. Game fam is an actual company that has license 
to many animes. For example, My Hero Academia, which took down one of the most biggest games like Anime Adventures. And when it comes to most games, if you want to bypass the whole license system, you have to make sure you have some changes in the game, like for example, changing an anime character's color or changing the anime character's name. But when it comes to Jujutsu Infinite, everything is just there. There is no changes. The names are Goju Satoru, the techniques are the same. Everything is just canon when it comes to Jujutsu Infinite. So if Game Fam or a different company indeed gets a license for Jujutsu Kaisen, then it's game over for Jujutsu Infinite. So hopefully they do do something about this because Game Fam is a huge issue. If they do have a backup plan or like changes to bypass the Game Fam situation, that would be really great. So yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. And now I'm going to talk about the main thing about this video, the release date. Now the release date hasn't been confirmed, or hasn't been sneaked, or hasn't been hinted. No one really knows when Jujutsu Infinite is coming out. But the main thing is, Jujutsu Infinite is confirmed to be coming out this year. And there were so many rumors of people saying that Jujutsu Infinite is gonna release maybe in February, maybe in March. And in my opinion, I do not think Jujutsu Infinite is gonna release in the next few months. Cause there was no issue with Game Fam and all these license related problems in 2023 and it's only recently after we got Game Fam and uh, got the entire situation. So because of that, Jujutsu Infinite has a lot on their plate to just figure out and in announcements or some announcements or anything, they haven't talked to us or given us any announcements whatsoever. There's also no updates on the game and they're probably just working on the game in secret and not really telling us about what's happening. But when it comes to the release date, I do not think it's gonna come anytime soon or in the next few months. But since it is confirmed to come out in 2024, the only thing I can say is that Jujutsu Infinite might come out in mid-2024 or the end of 2024. But Jujutsu Infinite won't come out in the next few months, that's for sure. Because the game is lacking content and the game has the whole issue with game fam and shit. So it's really hard for them to just release the game because of all those issues. And Jujutsu Infinite is a really good game, they actually do work on the game and support the game and make sure it's good to play. So hopefully we do see some changes and the release date for Jujutsu Infinite might come out in mid-2024 or the end of 2024. But it's not gonna be at the start of 2024. Anyway, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Jujutsu Infinite and what you guys think it's gonna release in 2024. With that being said, we more watch Max and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Peace! Did you ever know?